26 or 27 years ago, there was, nobody even knew what the word Hospice Palliative Care Society or Palliative Care was in Cape Breton. Um, but it became very apparent that there was a huge need for um, palliative care services. So a group of people met at the old St. Rita's Hospital and as a result of that, the society was formed to look at developing palliative care services in Cape Breton. As in the beginning of the movement in the 60s in England, uh, Dame Sister Saunders felt that we can do a better job of caring for people at the end of life. And so the development of the whole hospice palliative care movement came to be. One of the biggest things was that we could do such a good job of pain management. And so the focus was for people to die very comfortably and not to be in pain and not to be uncomfortable. And if we could allow that to happen, then hopefully they could have quality time with their family, friends, and do the things they want to do and basically live right up until the end. We had a very good home support program and the need for in-hospital care for acute pain and symptoms for palliative care patients was really critical. Well, first of all, we have a population that unfortunately needs the services and it allows people in this area and in our different communities to stay at home instead of having to travel distances. And if they are in the unit, then it's a much more comfortable place than in a hospital bed. So the society, uh, hospice society developed to help the community help people at the end of life. Uh, the community recognizes the work that they do, they value the work that they do, and they are the reason that we've been able to stay in existence so successfully for such a long time. It was always like a giant jigsaw puzzle and uh, I knew that we needed in hospital, home support and we need hospice in the community and it has been a slow process of putting the pieces in place uh, to watch the final picture completed and obviously the centre of the picture has always been the patient and the families.